<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need a sedative. I can't, after the first two weekends, we didn't think... Uh, not this, pra this place always produces, but the first two were like level 11. And then after that, you think, okay, at some point we'd have to come down from that. But Neil Cole, that was mad again. It was an incredible finals day here in Mete. I mean, first of all, we had snow in Portugal. We had bright sunshine yesterday. We've had drizzle and rain all day today. What are we going to get in Silverstone? Locusts? Well, yeah, <laughs> possibly. I had snow there earlier this but year. I'm honestly, hoping we're done action, with the snow. But the yeah, the action was incredible. Today. Oh, it was. It was uh, uh, yeah, I, I know we spoke last time about being a pub, but that was mega. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. And just standout performances, standout moments. Yeah. A an absence of a certain person from the podium. I mean, uh, unbelievable. I mean, Tim for me, Timmy Hansen is the oh, 100%. star, star yeah, we've, of the day. We've, we've got so much to talk about. Yeah, yeah. We're going to make our way out the paddock. We're going to start here at VW. Then we're going to go to Audi. We might see if we can see. So it depends who we see. Do we, do we do this live? You can see they're in the middle of pack down. So behind us, the stuff's coming out and going into crates. Again, we move on again to Silverstone. We're going to have five events in eight weeks to start this season off. And it's just been non-stop action. So I can see Johan Christophson is in the debrief room out the back. We're going to get the camera in uh, out of the wet as well. Try and avoid all the stuff they're pouring off the roof. Climb over this. Ah, Mr. Solberg's here. <laughs> I didn't spot better. What are you doing? <laughs> You're going into uh, anti-doping. <laughs> yeah. Um, Peter, you said to us after the final, you didn't really know what's going on. Have you? Oh, actually, I've got a picture for you of the first corner. I have seen it now. You've seen it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it was very interesting. <laughs> Unbelievable, you know. Well, that's well, that's what I say. Yeah. I mean, it, it was. It was four cars completely tight, and then you won on the side, you know, on, uh, into my car. And like, like this. It's uh, <laughs> incredible. And, um, and after that was just to, uh, you know, get get out, just get out of the first corner and, and uh, do the best you can, you know. And you, were, you were flying and then I think Peugeot, we, we spotted it in commentary, the lap times. Guy, I think, said, oh, Pet is flying. Like, they've got to joke of the Peugeots now and they both went together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they listened to you. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if they waited one more to do the last yeah. lap. Um, but it was a good choice. You know, I was, I was on a very good speed, a big attack. And... Uh, so, uh, okay, I could maybe have taken Loeb on the inside down the hill there into uh, into the first corner after long straight. But it would have been a small risk involved and I think uh, uh, second is, is still very good after a weekend like this. Okay, and if you hadn't been there in turn one for uh, Johan to lean on, do you think it would have gone over? He would definitely have rolled. <laughs> definitely, you know, so I think that was, uh, that was a good save and, you know, the first corner is so difficult and and everybody pushing in the each end and so uh, but uh, luckily we finished both of us uh, leading the team championship you won't still leading the world championship with uh, with uh, good points and and then Loeb and me so it's going to be a tight fight through the season and uh, i think i feel the tension in the service park i must say you know it's a lot of tension here and, uh, it, it's funny the way that that's developed over these first these first three rounds that the little battles because no one's getting it their own way I don't like battles so much, you know. Okay, I, I know that people like rallycross because of battle. Well, I, I like fair and uh, and square driving, and and uh, but I can see that uh, some of the other teams is uh, quite uh, quite excited, yeah, for sure. And I think it will continue the whole uh, the whole season. Lots of uh, tire marks on the sides of cars on the way into the final. It's always good to see that, but I know that it gives you an adrenaline rush as you're about to go off the start line. Yeah, uh, for sure, you know. And you see the, the different uh, grip on the starting position also for the for the semi and the final and the heats. You know, when it's wet, uh, it's a uh, it's a bigger step than we expected. So, uh, all this will be a very interesting season. But we're still uh, close to the top, and uh, and we are part of uh, part of it. And finally, you. Um, just when I spoke to you after the final, you were experiencing some pain. Do you know where that came from? I don't know. It's something with age. I don't know. But <laughs> it seems like, you know, something, small things all the time is coming out. And I was talking to Loeb and, and I said, you know, how are your body after all the rallies and stuff? Yeah, and I go up in the morning. I, I use a little bit longer time. He said, but then you get softened up a little bit. It's okay. And I feel the same. You know? These 20 year olds are not the same, are they? They're young and dumb and they, they don't hurt when they uh, get things wrong. No. I, I think the, the the passion the passion uh, you know me and Loeb have for this also you know it, it's high you know I think you know we, we like to drive we like to be in in a good championship and and fight and I think uh, good friends and fair driving is it's nice to see you know.
Well done, Peter. Thank Great you to see you on the podium. Well right, done. let's head along. Ah, Mr. Christopher. Very serious. Is, look, you still is. look really serious in there. Serious. Look at them all on their laptops oh, pretending they're doing data. work. <laughs> and there's Fabrice Van Well, Look, he's texting his friends clearly. I know he can hear me in there, being all serious and Belgian at home. <laughs> Thumbs up. Johan. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, the final. It's really close to going over. You, I think you got on the throttle. It looked like to, to pull it. Or maybe that was the previous the previous race. We, how many times were you in the wall in the first corner? Uh, wow. Yeah, but uh, I was also in Q4. Huh? Yeah, Q4. Um, but that was not as bad as the as the final. But uh, yeah, so far in my career, I have I have not rolled. But today was very close. <laughs> There's we'll, we'll move, we'll move. <laughs> Kevin Hansen said the other day that when he rolled here last year, his dad, Kenneth, said uh, that there's drivers who haven't rolled yet and there's drivers who have rolled. So we want to stay in the former category. Yeah, that was... That was <laughs> I, I can roll, but not here. <laughs> it, was, it was very Terry Grant through the first corner there. I was on two wheels for a long time. What happened in turn one? Uh, yeah, what happened, I think uh, Timmy Hansen was, was the smartest. Um, I mean, he left, he, he left space for everyone. Um, and that brought him the podium position. So I think he was the smartest. Um, and from my starting position, it was tricky. It was so much less grip on, on P1 compared to, to P2, yeah, grid slot three. So obviously me in the semi-final, uh, Loeb in the semi-final and Loeb in the final. So uh, yeah, that's it. We saw it in the European Championships uh, final as well, actually. Cyril Raymond went backwards from that slot. Why? What, explain to people at home, why, was, uh, why is that point on the grid not as good as the points behind it? Because it was the tarmac is leaning a little bit towards um, the right side of the track, uh, so all the water was was slightly drying up or, or like I don't know how do you call it when it's going down to the right side. Yeah. So it was more wet there compared to grid slot three and then all the others basically. You still lead the world championship, and as we said last time, you you got to be there every time. You're still there every time, and you know the, the polo is still an absolute weapon, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure it is. I mean, um, I, I, I feel this weekend was a bit the same as, as uh, Barcelona Montalegre, that I, I couldn't really drive free yet at any point until in the semi-final. So it was tough, but uh, anyway, I, I mean, I, I was on the pole in, in the final in the end, um, which was very good. I know I was not really there, not really there, not really there. <laughs> All of a sudden I was in the pole in the final. <laughs> So that was okay, but um, yeah, obviously uh, that slot was not the best one, and uh, yeah, the the first corner, all the drivers didn't take the best decision. Unlucky. We'll see you at Silverstone. Yeah, see you. Cheers, Johan. Right, so Neil, where do you want to go? Um, let's see if we can speak to anyone at EKS. Do you reckon? That sounds good to me. We'll have to drag uh, the camera out in the rain. Um, where are the cars? Uh, Park Ferme, possibly. Okay, yeah. Still in Park uh, yes. So Petters will be basically Park Ferme is where the cars go after the racing to be che technically checked uh, that nobody's cheating. So there will be Petters definitely will be, and they might have just put all six cars in Park Ferme, particularly because the paddock's busy unloading. Duval's car, unlucky not to make the semi-finals. He was uh, he was very close indeed. There's Andrew Oates who does all yeah, the graphics. This is Andrew Oates graphics man. There he goes. We're trying to introduce you to as many people in the paddock as we can. Right, come on, Karim, you're right there. You won't trip over, I promise. We've got Karim doing uh, Here's, here's a, a little run. thing. When I interviewed Andreas Backward before the uh, final, his door was so bashed in from the action in the semi-final that, he, that one of the mechanics just pretty much yanked it and pretty much pulled it off its hinges. Uh, but it stayed intact, which is good. But they're still in Park Ferme because they made the final. They're not uh, here. They're not here, okay. Right, you have no cars and no drivers, Toby. This is not good enough. No, it's embarrassing. I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> we have two very nice crash helmets here. Uh, who's is who? So this is, uh, this, oh, this is Andreas backwards. Yeah. Come around. The, oh, that's, well, that's, that's Matthias. Just come around this side, Corinne. Come and have a look at the lids at least. So Andreas was showing this off last week. If you come around here, you can see the 13 on the top, which is uh, the B of backward and the backward blue, of course, in the Red Bull colours. I like this too, the Audi logo down the bottom. So that's cool. Neil, and around the other side, Matthias is, of course. Yes, there we go. Uh, with the gloves hanging out, drying out, because it's obviously been very wet. Uh, not so much in the car, but I imagine there's some sweat in there as well. But look, completely spotless. Uh, it's very cool. it's all very cool, isn't it, you know? It's all very clean. They should come to the TV truck and see how <laughs> terribly <laughs> disorganised they'd have a fit. They wouldn't like it at all. So where are they and where are the cars? Serious question. Uh, the drivers are in the meeting right now, debriefs, talking about the weekend and uh, sorting out, um, let's say, the problems we have uh, for next weekend. 
Okay, what do you see the problems as, or is that their job to talk about in there? You can dodge this, Toby. I mean, it's. I think it's quite obvious. I mean, the, the pace of the cars were pretty good all weekend. I mean, uh, Matthias in P1 um, after the intermediates was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, but then the starts are still our problems, so inconsistent, and um, we need to sort that out to be, yeah, better in the future, especially in Silverstone. But I don't think I've seen many drivers come back from a double joker to be second in a race. That was really impressive by Backward. There was attrition elsewhere, but that was an impressive drive. Yeah, I mean, the whole semi-final number two, I mean, uh, I heard you screaming. I mean, this was <laughs> <laughs> just amazing. That, but that's, that's what Rallycross is about, to have an impossible, impossible mission with two jokers in a semi-final and just nail it. And also Timmy, I mean, big credits to him. I mean, this was his, the race of his life, I mean. Um, I, I, I said that to him. I think this yeah. is the, the best race I've ever seen you do. I mean, he he put passes on people everywhere. Yeah, it was it was crazy. So I mean, we haven't seen much overtaking the whole weekend, just over the choker lap and especially into uh, turn one after the start finish line. But he just overtook everywhere. <laughs> it, was, it was it was incredible racing, and we really loved it to watch. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. We'll leave you to it if the guys are in a debrief. Toby Bell from EKSRX, uh, Viestas as Safe well. Home. Yeah, safe journey, guys. There they are, uh, and we will. Uh, head off to I think we should go to Peugeot Neil that feels like a good place to go today what do well, you think they did have a double podium and they Sebastian did. Loeb's first victory in Latvia in 2016 yes so they didn't win last year if you remember last year of course we had um, we had Ford who didn't win we had Peugeot didn't win nothing to trip over Karim I promise um, this is this is me <laughs> encouraging one day I'm gonna encourage Karim to run and he's gonna when hit we, the when deck we, when we do the paddock <laughs> walks, on, mate. the paddock walks is very much like FIA homologated it has to be 60% gravel yeah and 40% yeah, tarmac yeah, have a look at the surface so here. now you're on the tarmac you down, on the tarmac. we'll take him back onto the gravel now he's gonna need different setup through here uh, around the around the joker lap for me Neil's going the standard <laughs> lap so this is uh, Robin Larson's bus the guys from OMSC are in here, so the garage doors come down. It's very cool their setup. These, oh, they've all got these roller garage doors and things. I'll tell you what is actually worth a look. So, ah, oh, Guy Wilkes is in here for a start. But I wanted to look at Jerome Grosjean's car. So you'll remember if you watched today. Oh, got wet. Uh, if you watched today, this car ended up on its side. So come and have a look here. And even though it went completely over on the top, you can see it's just put the barest rub down the side of the chassis. So. Uh, that's you consider you have to consider the fact we've only got a couple of weeks before we go to the uk so luckily for these guys there isn't too much work to do so um, i say that they may not go go guy, works here. so <laughs> guy <laughs> guy, He's gone guy, the other guy way. you're someone who's certainly put a car on their side once or twice I've done <laughs> it over as well. <laughs> um tell us how impressed you are that this was actually pretty much ready to go again uh, for the restart if it if it could it's actually um, shaved a little bit of new aero and it hasn't actually done much damage at all. I mean, it's, um, it did go over on its side quite softly, but I, I think the team will be quite happy that uh, the damage is obviously not over onto the roof, roof skins and things like that. I mean, okay, yes, you never want a car to be too damaged, but that has got away really mildly. And were you impressed with the, the driving you saw today because it was some spectacular action? It was brilliant. It was a cracking day to be a spectator, wasn't it? You know, and to be a driver and come out on top Ah, uh, credit to, to Timmy Hansen. Actually, have you found any drivers yet? Or, or, we have, uh, yeah. Wait there, oh, VW <laughs> debriefing. No, yeah, no, VW no. VW debriefing, Audi debriefing, and Peugeot partying. <laughs> no drivers left. We, we found that both the VWs, yeah, Audi are in a thing. You, you mentioned the Timmy thing. I mean, honestly, you know, it's great fun to commentate, isn't it? But usually it's about tactics and jokers, and like all motorsports, it's hard to overtake. Timmy didn't seem to think it was very hard to overtake, did he? No. Um, you, you can hardly say it was a special stint, but you think of it like being a special stint at Le Mans, you know, where somebody just gets their head down for half an hour, 45 minutes and makes headway. <laughs> he did that in three or four minutes. It was, it was unbelievable because he got dumped out there. Wasn't his own, wasn't his fault at all. But at the end of the day, like he said, for a second, he thought that's it, it's over. And then he thought, no, your driver instinct kicks in. You never think it's over. You know, when you've been up there and faced, you know, the hardships, and managed to pull something out of the fire. In that situation, you never think it's over. And in these conditions, he never thought it was over, but then he just got his head down. And I always say how neat and tidy a driver he is. He just remained neat and tried, tidy, but just had a bit more effort, didn't he? He was just uh, a bit more anger in him. Maximum attack. We're gonna go and find Timmy. See you yeah, in a bit, guys. No, that'd be a good interview, definitely. Right, we'll head down that way. Karim, come this way. We don't want you tripping over. We'll say goodnight to Jerome's car and uh, the boys are putting the wheels and tyres away. Look, mixture of wets and slicks again this weekend, thanks to the conditions. Um, these are the very special rims that ProDrive use, look. So 
this uh, GCK rim has been specially made by OZ Racing, so it's, it's got more capacity inside for uh, for air, which basically means that the tyre pressure remains more stable during the course of a run because there's, there's more air to heat up. In theory, it should make less of a temperature change, less of a pressure change. But they've gone to town on this car, every loophole in the book. Look at them all here, looking at paperwork and being all official. Like, like Carry a piece of paper and look busy. Packing up list. <laughs> Good luck, lads. See you at Silverstone. Right, where's Neil Cole? There he is. They're here. Go on, Neil, in you go. I was well, just holding this for Kareem. <laughs> oh, they're busy, look. We'll invite ourselves in and see if we can get um, Sebastian to come and talk to us instead. We can. Sebastian Loeb, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that was what, what a weekend. I mean, it was a real battle. But you had a fantastic run out front and your second win. Yeah, for sure. Second win in uh, two years. Uh, so it's not a every every time I, I win and uh, I had to fight hard for it. Uh, but I think we improved uh, quite well with the car since the beginning of the season. And now we're, we were really in the, in the game. Uh, double podium for me and Timmy. So it's looking good. Uh, we try to continue like this. And, and happy with the final. I mean, you, you guys both had one moment on the back straight, which was really fast. But, it, you know, it looked pretty much in control, but full effort. Yeah, for sure. I tried hard. I didn't see Timmy behind. I was concentrated on my drive. I was uh, enough in, in trouble <laughs> in this corner. Uh, but uh, but uh, yes, we. I pushed really hard, trying to go as fast as possible. I had a good start and then uh, trying to, to make the gap. And at the end, uh, I ended first. Uh, even uh, I didn't know before the last corner that I would win the race because I, I was behind the uh, extra. And I didn't know that he has still the joker to do, so it was an amazing uh, feeling when I crossed the line. So your spotter wasn't telling you that Ekstrom was still to joker? No, but I, I don't want too many information. Okay. It disturbs me, you know, so I prefer to, to concentrate on, on my drive, to do what I, I can. And uh, But that was a nice surprise. Maybe it was a surprise for my spotter, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it a surprise. Don't tell him you'll like it. <laughs> Which was your favourite win? Two wins, obviously. Latvia is the first one, which is always quite nice and special. But then this one felt like a, a real fight to me. Yeah, uh, I, I, it's difficult when you have only two to say <laughs> which one is the best. But uh, I would say this one because it, it puts me in a, in a good situation again uh, in the championship, still in the in the, at the contract for 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 the first places of the of the championship. So that was important. It's, we have a, a good start of season. And that's uh, so it's it's really good. And it was nearly my my home race. It's not far from where I come from. I had some friends and every, everybody here. So it was it was great. Be nice to do it again at Loiac later on in the season, <laughs> wouldn't it? For sure. And uh, anywhere <laughs> else, if you want. <laughs> Everywhere else. Yeah, no problem. I will be here. But you, as you were saying, Sebastian, you didn't see uh, some of what Timmy pulled off, certainly in the semi-final. Um, but have you managed to watch any of the footage? Because it was like Mario Kart, it, like he got a special boost and just suddenly was able to pass everyone on the track. Did you see it yet? No, I didn't see. Uh, we had some work huh, since <laughs> then. We, we are not drinking uh, at the bar. Uh, so, but uh, he, I, I know what he did and, and like uh, he, he overtook uh, three cars uh, on, a tr on a track where it's very complicated to overtake. So I think it uh, must have been some uh, nice moment in the car. And yeah, well done, Timmy. I think everyone was very impressed. Uh, and your family, the team, must be so proud of what you achieved. Yeah, it, I, the most special moment for me was when Kevin came to say to me, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> because he understands exactly what it is and how hard it is to overtake here. With these tire barriers, it leaves no room for anything. And I don't know myself, but I just found the gaps every time. <laughs> After the final, did Kevin come to you and say, how did you not crash in the exact same way as me? Yeah, he, <laughs> he was a bit he was a bit mad that I had done the same thing uh, he had been saying that all weekend that it's a risky place and uh, man, I, that was such, so close to a roll it could have been really nasty and I think it was just millimeters from it but uh, Somehow I even got the car to the next apex and didn't lose too much time to set it. I think he should try Rally Sweden. It looked like a kind of a snowbank move when you see it back. He leans on the wall quite hard. Oh, yeah. Uh, so maybe he practice uh, in the winter in, yeah. uh, in yeah, Sweden and he doesn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in sort of slightly seriously, it must. What, what was the secret? What's changed uh, with, the, with the team, with the Peugeot, to get you up to this point where double podium and a win for you? What's changed? 
little things. Uh, we have uh, continue. We continue to work on the car. We have a bit more power. We have a, a different weight balance. Little adjustment, uh, and uh, we, we are trying to to work as professionally as possible to to be able to repeat uh, the setup. We, we try to organize uh, our setups to know, okay, this condition, we need this, this condition, we need that. And, and we work together like, like this. And uh, I was myself surprised from the step we did uh, since the start of the season. I'm really happy about it. Uh, it's, uh, it's not easy because we have a lot of people, but it's, it's new for them. So the, a few weeks ago, for a few months ago, they were still in Argentina for the Dakar so it's, it was a big change a different way to work and I think all the team is working hard to 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 get on the level and we try to share as much the experience we have all together and um, at the moment it's it's a good way so I'm really really happy about it mm. I agree really uh, that uh, th that it's a new team all the new people here that's a challenge itself to make everyone work and rallycross is such a challenging sport with so, so limited time and it can be quite d big damage sometimes but the the in the performance things we have done has been really really good teamwork very good testing in the winter every day has been productive and the engineers have been able to put the finger on what the things we need to change to make a better lap time. Sometimes you change things that feel better, but these things have made us go faster around the lap. You realise you've got to go home now and get out of racing driver mode and into no sleep dad yeah. mode, because Emma's been left on her home all weekend, like you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to see my boy again. It looks already like he has grown uh, in a few days, but he's only a bit more than a week now. <laughs> well, Fantastic. You've grown a bit today as well, well done. Yeah, well <laughs> Thank done. You. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks guys, see you later. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Peugeot. Safe journey. Cheers. Brilliant. Amazing job by these guys. You can see they're, they're in uh, pack down mode as well. I think we're going to stay in here, to be honest, because the weather's atrocious outside and, and uh, Crim's camera's getting, well, full send on an electric motocross <laughs> bike over there. I can't, I can't resist it. I just can't resist it. Um, stand yeah, you stand on there, Thanks. Neil. That's better. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed Belgium as much as we did. Honestly, the first three uh, rounds incredible. Have, been, have been fantastic. We, you know, Timmy's proved you can pass. Peugeot proved they can win. Audi, okay, maybe they're not that happy this weekend, but they're on the pace. You know, Action was setting great laps, backward through with two jokers, and, and VW are not gone, you know. It, but it's Johan doesn't look happy. No, you know, but... And a podium without Johan is a rare thing in the, in the modern probably, era of rally it, it must be disappointing when you've got so many podiums and then you yeah. don't get one. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Sebastian Loeb is going to be feeling like that soon. Three podiums, two seconds and a first to start his championship season off. Uh, you know, fantastic. What a season. I mean, yeah. it's wide open yeah. and we're only a quarter, a quarter of, the of the way, way through. through. Yeah. Jinx. Nine, uh, jinx. <laughs> Nine rounds still to go. Speed Machine next. Silverstone. Hope to see some of you there.